Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have, if you followed the last video, you know what we have right here. We have the Rebel T3i kit that I just ordered in. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, you can get this kit right now. I think it's a Father's Day special, but uh, $5.99 gives you the 75 to 300. It's the uh, EF 75 to 300 from Canon, F4 to 5.6, version 3 USM lens, and the T3i kit. That's the uh, the Rebel T3i kit right here, and it is a Rebel T3i EFS 18 to 55 IS2 kit. So I've got the two lenses, plus if you followed the last video, I've got a surprise edition built my kit with a little addition of a hundred dollars, and we'll get to that in a minute, which will vastly improve the abilities of this kit. But let's do an unboxing for you here. Let's start with the Rebel T3i. Um, I have actually haven't taken this apart. I know normally I'm already unboxed at this point because I can't wait. Um, the only thing I did do is I pulled the battery. Always pull the battery out of the box and throw it on the charger so we're ready to roll. Um, I actually have a shoot tomorrow that I may use this on. I'm doing some uh, some dancers from a uh, dance academy in some pretty neat outfits. Um, so we're going to do some some shots with that, with uh, the alien bees, with some lighting. So I uh, may use this or we may use another camera. I haven't decided yet. Might even use the Olympus EM10, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, Canon warranty registration card. More red warranty registration card. Huge package of manuals. Now here in Canada, um, they have to give us a French manual. So that's why you get all that. Um, plus a bunch of um, your better guide to flash photos uh, from Canon. So a bunch of... Uh, printed paraphernalia there um, EOS digital solution disc 24.1 and the EOS digital instruction software instruction manual um, right there so you got two uh, discs there with it and we have the strap bunch of cords we got a USB connection to looks like micro USB or micro HDMI uh, we've got uh, some audio cables we have the 18 to 55 IS lens packaged right there. And we have the, um, what do we have here? We have the camera. So nicely packaged in some bubble wrap to protect it. Nicely done, nice boxing in there for uh, very protected uh, internal corrugated cardboard packaging with a uh, very nice, uh, Canon's very good about that, about how they package stuff. Um, so not only was it in the bubble wrap, then it's got this kind of satiny type uh, case or, uh, or a wrap on it uh, and here is the little t3i it's got the um, the body cap on it right now you could see that the, as i mentioned before one of the big things about this is that the t3i has an articulating screen i think every camera should have one of these some people argue it's a weak point i think it's a weak point not to have an articulating screen and i think i have a hair on my hat um so um Nice little camera, you know. I, one of the nice things about the T3i, the Rebel series, is um, as popular as uh, Micro Four Thirds are for their size and weight. This is pretty small and pretty pretty lightweight. I mean, not as small as Micro Four Thirds, nor are the lenses, but uh, certainly smaller than a 5D Mark III, a Canon 1DX, you know, a Nikon D800 or a D4S or something like that. Um, and here we've got the little kit lens that comes with this. That's the thing. I bought the two kit lens. You can also get for about five hundred dollars the T3i with the eighteen to fifty-five um, IS, which is why this thing is such an amazing deal. You know, my D100 originally cost like thirty-two hundred dollars, and while this isn't built as solidly as the D100, because the D100 was kind of an F100 Nikon, you know, metal body in the first of the DSLR cameras, um, but this is polycarbonate. Tough little camera. It's five hundred bucks with a lens. You know, my D my my D one hundred at thirty two hundred bucks years back didn't have a lens. So all I'm saying is here you can get into quality level photography, a camera that can produce quality results um, for very inexpensive. You could shoot pretty much anything with the T three I. Probably would your your weakest point would be sports. Other than that, it's it excels you know really well at, at just about anything you can still do sports sports and fast moving kids i always put the two together you know because you need a little bit better af system for that and the t3i has a decent af system but not top of the line but you know what back in the day 
you pre-composed and you timed your shots when you needed that. So, I mean, there's probably nothing that can't be done with the T3i. And at 18 megapixels, it'll deliver image quality that is good enough for 99.9% .9 of what you need to use it for. Anyways, here is the 18 to 55 lens. Nice little lens. And this isn't... Um, I mean, the construction on here is decent. It's not the best, but I can't really fault it for anything. You know, it's uh, it's well made. It's a little, it's a little loose feeling on the zoom. Uh, you know, it feels like a kit lens. But I can also tell you that I know that this little lens delivers reasonably well on sharpness and resolution, especially paired with the T3i. It's 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 a pretty good pairing. Um, when we take this apart here, take the body cap off. So this is it on the T3i. So it's it's a it's a nice size camera. It's not uh, it's not too big. It's not too small, um, and you know it's a decent size little SLR. Um, let's get these caps out of the way. Uh, I lately these days haven't been putting straps on. If you worried about dropping it, put your straps on. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so there's the camera, the T3i, and the lens. And as I said, you can get that for about $500. Here is the 75 to 200 that came with this kit for $599. So we've got um, we've got a uh, warranty card. We've got an instruction manual. The only thing you really ever want a lens instruction manual for probably is if it's got a depth of field chart in it so it can tell you you know where at various apertures and distances your depth of field is sometimes they don't even print that in them anymore but you can you can look that up online there's depth of field calculators online if you need that so there you go um well packaged again if you can see inside here has these um plastic doohickeys so that when the lens is sitting inside the box it's isolated from the walls of the box. So it's like a, a really nice cushioning effect. They've really come along with technology for packaging. So no need to worry about anything on packaging there. Oh, my lens cap was coming off. Both of these are loose. That's not good. That is something I would fault packaging control for because with that falling off, it could have, you know, gone across my element and scratched it. I think we're all good. So here is... 75 to 300 that's it right there let me show you how it looks extended because it will zoom out pretty long so let's take the caps off this and that's the 75 to 300 and there you see it fully extended now remember this is a non-is lens i knew that buying it so you're going to want to use a tripod or if you're outside you're going to need your shutter speeds up in Depends how well you can handhold it. You're going to need them up at around one three hundredths of a second minimum. Probably when you add the crap factor of a camera in, which you kind of need to on your handheld shutter speeds, I would want to be at least one five hundredth of a second. So if your outdoor light, your outside light, outdoor, whatever, wherever you're shooting can't give you that, um, by all means, use a tripod. So there you go. Um, let's quickly show you what this little lens looks like on the t3i camera on the t3i dslr our super value professional <laughs> kit lens not professional camera but we're going to do some professional results with it for you let's see here i think canon screws on backwards to what i'm used to with my nikon i've shot canon over the years just i've had lately i've been having nikons and micro four thirds so i just have to remember how everything goes on so it's still you know it's a small nice little lens that goes on there well as well but what i want to get to now was i promised you guys the 100 hundred dollar add-on to this kit that will exponentially many times over boost what you're able to do with your your photography the images you're able to capture the deliverables uh and this is what it is 